This is a camera view looking over downtown Independence, and we are getting a few reports of a few light snow flurries, which are ongoing in Independence right now. So that's what we're tracking this second. Now on the radar, some of this snow is so light that it's barely showing up, but it is gradually increasing in coverage. Right now you can see some of that snow out toward the Ponca City area along the state line, and it is going to gradually track its way eastward. So expect the snow to gradually increase by this afternoon, tracking light snow across eastern Oklahoma. Now here's what it looks like in Tulsa. If you're headed out right now, as you know, most of the major roads like I-44 are in good shape, but it's the secondary roads, the neighborhoods and the county roads that are still icy and those are still having problems and the temperature not warming up very much at all. We're in the mid 20s and we're going to be staying in the 20s again all day. It's 24 in Tulsa, 23 in Pryor, 26 in Tahlequah, 27 degrees in Muskogee. So your hourly weather for today. Right now we're in the 20s and we're going to stay into the 20s into this afternoon with gradually increasing amounts of light snow coming up. We'll let you know how much snow we're expecting. And because of the storm, schools have been out for thousands of Green Country students since Thursday. That's causing daycare headaches for parents and has school officials scrambling to decide when to bring students back to class. Two News reporter Joe Hankey joins us live from the Tulsa Public School Education Center with the latest there. Joe? Well, within the past hour, I talked with an official here at Tulsa Public Schools main office. We discussed the canceling of class today and then also the plan looking ahead towards the rest of the week. Now, TPS officials are calling the canceling of of class today challenging. The reason because most of the winter weather moved out of the area by early this past weekend. But without snow or strong precipitation even coming down, TPS officials say they look at several factors before canceling class, such as freezing temperatures and how long kids would be outside at bus stops. And then TPS workers also travel certain routes to see what conditions are truly like on the roads. We have some parts of town that are notorious just because they're hilly. We have a hard time getting in to get uh, the students in and out safely. Uh, the other thing, the other consideration is, you know, we cover 75 square miles and it's really hard. Uh, you know, you may experience weather in one area and not in another. Uh, so it is somewhat a judgment call. Now, Chris Payne there with TPS tells me he thinks the school system is in a good spot right now. They have five winter weather or snow days built into the academic calendar. They've only used two of those so far, Friday and, of course, today. Now, looking ahead towards tomorrow and the rest of the week, he said drivers are already out on the streets or they will be shortly checking road conditions and seeing what they look like. They'll be watching the weather, of course, uh, for the rest of the week here. But as of right now, still just too early to make a call of whether kids will be back in the classrooms starting tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Midtown right now, Joe Hankey, 2 News, works for you.